All right. We're moving. Let me know when you're ready. Cyril Link. Cyril Link. <clears throat> This one. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. Am I in camera? I'm not in camera. No. Oh wait, what is this? It's, oh, it's a delay. Okay. Um. So you have a thumbnail? No, nah, it's the shredder racing thumbnail. I think it'll do better than our current one. Okay. Well, I don't know what that means. The, uh, it's just. It's. Remember, <laughs> once we go live, I'm gonna. Post to an Instagram story. Yeah. And then I can take over while you're posting things. Right. Yeah. All right. That's going. Um. Yeah. And we are... Actually, since it's unlisted, you can literally just post the link right now. Are we, are we rolling now? Or? Yeah, we're rolling right now, but we're just not like live, live. But people are going to be able to see this part when, no. when they go back and replay it. I guess, yeah. Well, let's go. Okay. <laughs> Send it. All right. We are public. Okay. We are live. Good afternoon, everybody. I don't, I don't see myself. Oh, I'm slightly delayed. We're de delayed. Hold on. Uh, there we go. Else. There's us there's <laughs> live. All right. Welcome, everybody, back to the channel. We are live, and Rohan is here with me. We uh, decided it would be a pretty cool idea to kind of do a little impromptu Q&A and chat with you about things that are happening in the kind of beginning builds of the off-season. And the first build we're doing is a new PC. So you can see behind me here, we've got all the parts. Um, Rohan is going to kind of take charge on this. This is definitely not my domain. Uh, I have put a PC together one time before. It was back in college. And I think everything's changed since then. So <laughs> this is... Uh, Definitely not in my wheelhouse. I know how nuts and bolts go together, but I don't know all the little intricacies of building a PC. So this is nuts and bolts, by the way. So yeah, pretty pretty <laughs> sure like you just click it all together, right? It's like Legos. I'm pretty good Honestly, at Legos. It's super easy, and I'm yeah. pretty sure a bunch of you guys have already seen PC builds in many times before. Right. So this is nothing new. We're not going to get too technical. It's just going to be us hanging out. Yeah. So the idea is not so much like to teach you how to build a PC. It's more just to kind of hang out with you and any questions you might have. And I'll be able to answer them in, in chat about what's going on with us and uh, what we're building up for for 2020, which is really exciting. So I'm glad you guys are joining us here, and I'm really looking forward to next year. It's going to be an amazing year. Uh, best one yet, yet, I hope, and um, full of all kinds of adventures and fun things that we're going to get to share with you. So this is the, the first really big, important step for the process. I was watching Rohan edit with his computer and I even attempted to do it myself, and it was extremely frustrating, to say the least, without any curse words. Uh, but it was uh, very, very difficult. You would click, and then you would have to wait like between 5 and 20 seconds for whatever you wanted to have happen, actually happen. So, he is well-deserved of this. He's been helping me for about six months now, editing all my videos. And uh, <laughs> I think he's got the patience of a saint. So I definitely thought, like, for an early Christmas present slash... You know, a little uh, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. We, uh, we got this all put together. Um, this build cost me just under $1,000, so pretty inexpensive for what we're getting. But and it's also without buying a GPU. Right, so that's what I was going to jump into. Is that was, A big part of that was that I was able to, you guys might have seen me make a post about asking for computer parts. Well, the only one that was any real value is this one right here. It's a Titan Z graphics card. Um, this saved me at least 500 bucks. So thanks for the Titan Z video card, Cyro Link on Instagram. Huge, huge help and I really appreciate it. And it's also like a better video card than one of the ones I was probably going to buy for several hundred dollars. So awesome upgrade for the system here. 
All right, so let's uh, let's jump into some questions you have while Rohan back here starts doing some. Uh, there we go. All right, cool. What the specs be, my dudes? The Josh Gooden or Godden? Um, yeah, it's a good question. We let's see. So I can run yeah. you guys down. On let's let Rohan talk about that. Basically, what's going to happen? So this is going to be a Ryzen build. Uh, I know that some of you guys are really worried to going into you know this cheap way to do it. You're wrong, first of all. Uh, Ryzen is probably the best thing to go with right now because they have not only the best bang for the buck, they just have more bang. So. We got a Ryzen 2700X. I know it's not the big baller one that just came out, uh, but I don't want to spend 500 bucks on a CPU that I'm just going to edit with and maybe do some light 3D light animation stuff. So 2700X it is, eight cores, 16 threads, not sponsored. We paid full price, which was maybe like 160 bucks. I don't remember. I don't know if you deal with 160, all that. 180 is really, really reasonable for an eight core. Uh, 16 thread CPU. So that's your live on look. YouTube. You guys tune so in and check it out. We're doing a PC build and a QA. Uh, let me know what questions you might have. Tune in, I'll put the link below, swipe up. Cool. Uh, on top of that, we got B450 motherboard. That's just kind of for compatibility's sake. We got 32 gigs, ooh, fancy, of uh, some DDR4 3600. We got an M.2 SSD so that we can boot off of and keep like immediate things that I'm editing on uh, on that. We got two big storage terabyte, one terabyte Western Digital Blue Drives, uh, 7200 RPM. I know that spec. <laughs> Normal hard drives. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're faster than the uh, 5400s, right? Yeah, but, but those are old. They're yeah, old that's news. right. That's right. They're, they're boomer drives. Anyways. Boomer drives. We got rid of the boomer drives. So uh, case-wise, we got an NZXT uh, H510, not the I. It doesn't have the RGB. It's not riced out. Uh, like we already mentioned, graphics card is a Titan Z. Uh, not the newest, but not like slabs either. This has 12 gigs of VRAM, which is plenty, honestly. Uh, yeah, and then that's mostly it. I know that this comes with the Wraith cooler, but we just took like a slight upgrade and got this thingy. So things will be nice and cool. Uh, we've got some TP-Link uh, wireless card thing, this and EVGA power supply just to make things work. That's basically the rundown of it all, and honestly, that's about it. I guess we can just start cooking now. Uh, yeah. Any questions that you see happening? All right, so there's your specs breakdown, Josh. Uh, Brammy asked how I'm doing. I'm doing pretty all right. Thanks for asking. Um, I don't want to sit here and complain about things that are going wrong in my life, but oh, I can complain. <laughs> there are, have been quite a few hassles and hurdles to go through over the past couple weeks, and part of it has been shopping for a truck. And you guys may have seen that I posted this morning that I finally found one and, and bought one. It was not the best experience, let me just put it that way. Um, I don't know, should I should I tell them the whole story? Well, let's put that in a video. Yeah. Just a full video. Yeah, basically it was a nightmare and it took me three days to get home, but I made it home and here we are now. So uh, I'll count my blessings for that. I had a great Thanksgiving over the last week and I got to visit with my family and with my girlfriend and her family and it was really nice. So. I hope you guys all at home got to do similar. Um, you know, it's it's important to me at least to have some privacy and some family time and, and you know, a little bit of uh, just a normal life, so to speak, back uh, among the craziness of what my normal life is, dealing with all of this stuff and juggling. Uh, so yeah, that was a really, really well spent couple of days back home. So yeah, everything else is, is pretty decent. Um, Grammy is asking me about my plans for FD or any other pro drifting. Yeah, so that's a great question. I've got all kinds of plans. That is, I can't afford it. My car is not ready, and I would hate to go into Formula D or any level of top-tier professional driving kind of half-assed. So, without the proper budget and without the you know full package. In other words, my car is not ready. 
my, I don't have a proper team. Uh, as a driver, you know, I, I feel like I have the skill set and certainly the, you know, ability to drive with the, the Pro 2 guys, but I don't have the rest of what it takes to kind of be competitive in that world. So uh, instead of kind of going out there and either racking up 100 grand in credit card debt and making a fool of myself, I'd rather just, you know, stick with what I'm good at, uh, enjoy life, and try and have a lot of fun things that I can share with you guys on this YouTube channel and all throughout the other avenues of social media. So that being said, you know, if there was a team like Kuru Works or anyone else that had a full package, in other words, they had the teammates, they had the car, they had the logistics worked out, and they said, hey, we need a driver, we want you to be our driver, I would be all in for that. 100% I'd say, let's do it, I'd be on board, and I would do everything it takes to, you know, be able to perform at my best. Um, but in terms of going into it by myself, yeah, it's not uh, something that's that's I'm interested in doing, you know, in order to further my career, so to speak. I feel like there's much better ways to spend that money, and it would certainly be a better use of my time and efforts and my resources to do things like what we're doing for 2020. So I'm not going to announce everything about that right now, but let me just let you know that we have several builds planned for the YouTube channel, which I'm going to be share, sharing with you and showcasing on his channel. So look out for that. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you the different kind of categories that we're going to have. Um, that I think will give you a nice little tease, you know, uh, in terms of that. So uh, what we're going to do is basically three different builds. I've got a um, budget Texas street legal drift car build that I haven't announced yet, but it is going to be the quintessential, quintessential American drift car. It is going to be something that you guys can follow along and build at home. It will be very inexpensive and very easy to build. You know, not a lot of specialty tools, if, if any. I'm trying to do it with no welder, no specialty tools, and uh, just no lift or anything like that. Being able to build it at home in the garage with your buddies and, you know, just doing it after hours when you get off work at night. So not a ton of time. And then... It's going to be reliable as well, so so a car that will do many, many laps without burning up tires too quick or anything like that. And then, um, you know, going to be pretty pretty inexpensive and, and simple. So I'm trying to do it not necessarily the cheapest way, but it is going to be the best bang for the buck, let's put it that way. So the other thing we're going to do is... Um, going to update my drift car so it's going to get a bunch of new goodies and I'm planning a big cross country road trip with that so stay tuned for more updates on that it's going to be really exciting it's going to encompass several different road, road courses throughout the continental US and I'm going to actually be street driving my car from hyperdrive you heard it here first across country on the street so that's going to be a really exciting and fun project that I'm looking forward to uh, why don't you tell us what you got jumping into here, Rohan? What are you doing? Okay, so basically, I put the power supply in, it's already screwed in, and I'm just kind of routing the wires so that I can minimize the amount of headache I have to do after all the nitpicky stuff is done. Um, there's nothing really crazy going on. Um, uh, adding, to, So, going on to the builds, uh, those are like the simpler builds that he just mentioned. We have a lot more crazier kind of stuff planned. I don't want to really give it away, but it's really unique. Uh, this, that's the only way I can put it. But uh, I'm excited for it. I have a lot of videos to edit in 2020, and with this baby, things should work. And I can actually edit, because every click I made on that computer would freeze my computer, and I would hate myself, and I couldn't play back, and I would have to guess the edits. And that's not really editing, that's just guessing and just posting that. And I hate that. I really do. So I hope this works. I know it'll work. I hope it works better. Uh, yeah. So right now I'm messing with the PCIe cables. Uh, this is a dual 8-pin graphics card. So uh, it's going to draw a lot of power. So that's why we got this BPS uh, 700 watt, wherever the bottom is. Uh, power supply that I put on the ground over there that you can't see. So, uh, yeah, this should hopefully power everything to its full potential, maybe even a slight little overclock. Any questions? Yeah, we got a bunch of questions coming up. 
Um, Chris asked if we're putting the Titan. Yeah, we're definitely doing the Titan. Uh, it's not the newest Titan. It's the Z. Yeah, so the Titan like Z. Generations old. Yeah, it's still still going to work fantastic. It's still going to kick ass, honestly. Um, <laughs> Chris says, Rohan, you need two Titans and an SLI. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'll get send that. Send me one. Yeah, send me a, a, a matching Titan, and we'll we'll make sure to 100% do that. I don't even know what that means, but I'm yeah. guessing you stack them, and then they do so double the computing. These little pins here, you like connect them to your bridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah bridge so them up. if you want to send another Titan, if a reference Titan Z, yeah, uh, please send so I can go to full baller SLI. Even aren't they like removing support for that? I don't know. Yeah, um, we're definitely going to be doing some other fun things with this PC, not just editing. But actually, we're going to be doing some streaming, and uh, I'm, all, I'm, I'm looking forward personally to playing some Assetto Corsa. So all you Assetto Corsa nerds that are, you know, playing and been wanting to drive with me, well, now we're going to be able to have that ability. So before, I just had a, a, my Mac laptop, which of course does not play Assetto Corsa, and I've just been playing randomly 10 minutes at a time on my buddies' computers and their setups, which uh, is really not a great way to learn. Honestly, I'm pretty terrible at simulator driving right now, but I'm looking forward to being able to film the process of learning and having a good time and eventually being able to tandem with you guys and other Lone Star drivers like Mike Ben Schellenbeck, who you guys saw as my spotter on Hyperdrive. He's got a ton of seat time in a set of Corsa. And then other drivers, of course, as well. I know Nick Novak plays and Aaron Losey and True Taylor and um, Harrison, I think, plays mostly Forza, but he might have a, a rig for that. So Aaron does lessons on a set yeah, yeah, that's right. So um, Aaron does some lessons as well on Assetto Corsa, but either way, it's going to be a really good time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so yeah, they, just for you, those of you who are asking what the PC is for, it is for editing and gaming and all the things to bring us into the next decade of technology, because I think combined all of our stuff was, you know, about as old as I am. So <laughs> um, overall, though, this is looking good so far. Um, you guys hit me with some questions. What else do you want to know about me or about my life or about my cars or about what's going on? You guys just let me know. I'm, I'm watching the comments now more directly. I know in the past sometimes it got a little wild. Now uh, we're only going to do this for about an hour so maybe about 40 minutes left of the PC build. Oh god, I gotta hurry up. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> get a step and I'll start on wrapping stuff. Here's a motherboard. I don't know what, how good this one is, but... Yeah, don't open that yet. No? No, because you haven't been de-statified. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's probably important. Yeah. I'll mess with that. That's going to be super quick. Okay, what well, can I open? This? Yeah, you can open up all the stuff. You can look at the rate cooler. You can even look at this cooler. This is a cooler I had in my old PC. Uh, this thing kicks ass. It's 30 bucks, and it's fantastic for the price. Uh, Hyper 212 Evo. Basically, that's what you need to get. Yeah. Oh, just so we're clear on all this. None of this is sponsored product. I bought all of this for retail or Black Friday special pricing, uh, except for the Titan Z, and which we talked about earlier. Shout out Cyrilix again. You got hooked me up with that, so thank you very much. Um, but yeah, everything else we, I just bought new. Um, I appreciate those of you who reached out on my post looking for and begging for some free parts, but um, unfortunately none of that would have taken me into the... 21st century, so I decided I might as well just bite the bullet, spend the money, and go with uh, something that I know will be quality and good for years to come. All right, so this is the cooler, I guess, right? Yeah, so that's the Andy stock cooler. Yeah, you maybe buy another cooler and we have this one. That one's surprisingly not as good. Yeah. But All right, I'm putting this on my car somewhere. This thing looks like rad. It's also an RGB, so you can write it oh, out. Oh, is it really? Yeah, that pan is. <laughs> all right, so this needs to go back in the box, and all we need is uh, the little... Yeah, this guy. Yeah, that. So, yeah, so we're going to use this one. This one is cooler, it's quieter, um, marginally, but it's definitely worth it for the kind of stuff we're doing. Especially because we're not really using too many fans in the front of this, so the airflow is going to be kind of slow. So we just want big fans just to move it all out of the way. So less noise the better. He says that GPU is from 2014, almost ancient. Yeah, we know, it's true. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
technically my older worst I mean my old GPU is newer than this one, but it's worse. It's an R nineteen eighty two gig because I didn't sell out the extra forty bucks for the four gig. So that really kinda yeah. hindered it. Luke Vandenbrock says Ryzen's the way to go. Yes, my man. You understand. All right. Um, Chris says, might be changing my case if I have to change to smaller AIO. If I do, I'll send you my current one so you can trash that crappy fan. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. Whatever. Which one do you have? Sure. Uh, Chris, what do you, which, uh, which fan do your case do you have, I guess? Or which AIO do you have? Yeah. And does it come with an AM4 bracket, if that's important? Uh, what model CPU is it? It's a uh, Ryzen 2700 X. Yeah, Ryzen 2700X. It's a generation older, but still really good. Cool. That actually works. Alright, I'll keep opening stuff. You keep the static the time. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, when did I get into drifting? I got into drifting the first time I ever saw it on YouTube. I thought I was amazing. Uh, I'm actually probably gonna do a video on this because the video I saw was still so iconic and incredible that even today it, it makes me hyped for drifting. It was uh, Kaguchi driving his black 180SX uh, somewhere in Japan. I, I think it might've been at Ebisu, but I need to go and watch it again just to be sure. But um, amazing driving and from that moment on I knew that I had to at least attempt drifting and see you know if I could do it and then I bought a 240 and the rest is history so to speak. I've just been chasing this dream ever since. So for those of you who are commenting saying you want to drift after watching Hyperdrive I definitely encourage it you know there there are some really wise decisions you can make to kind of fast track your Drifting ability and experience, and you know, one of which is working for a race car driver. <laughs> yeah, Hi. yeah. So there's lots of things you can do. We will be producing more content this year, directly talking about that. Exactly the things to do, the things more importantly not to do, because I certainly made lots of mistakes in the beginning of my career that made me waste a lot of time, a lot of money, and kind of uh, beat my head against the wall. You know, where I could have much easier, you know. Um, just ask somebody who knew better and uh, go from there. Alright, so what we're putting in right now is the M.2 SSD. Uh, this thing should be... Oh god, what are we doing here? We're putting in an SSD. There's a here that I failed to remove. I wish I could pick up this camera and show them. Actually, I'm going to do that. Okay. All right. So, CPU's in. Uh, I'm about to put in the SSD, which is this thingy, if you want to point it into there. And it's going to go here. There's a tiny little retainer screw. Uh, You're all D static? Yeah. I ground myself every now and then, too. So, there's that. Super interesting. So yeah, basically, for any of you beginner drifters, I'm in the same boat, and all these ideas and concepts that Fielding is talking about, we're going to be putting directly to the test by experimenting on me. I am your guinea pig. So He's your local resident noob. Yeah. So uh, my only experience with uh, drifting is mildly sliding my minivan in the snow, and... Uh, kind of moving some of the cars around <laughs> in the lot over here. <laughs> so, uh, I am as noob as you can get in terms of, I only vaguely know how to drive a manual. I don't have that much practice. And my daily driver is a 2001 Honda Odyssey. So, yeah. so we're going to get him up to speed as quickly as possible. And um, yeah, so I think a lot of the information 
and practices that you guys learn from the channel here will help you in your own everyday life and learning how to drive. So uh, not only are we going to be doing some on-track you know, coaching, we're also going to be doing some sim coaching and driving as well, and kind of a mix of the two, and talking about how to build a car properly, what to buy, what not to buy, you know, what's a waste of money, and that sort of stuff. So definitely going to be a really interesting journey to, to come with uh, and follow us, so I'm looking forward to that. All right. Uh, Caleb asks, 500 gig, do you have another drive to complement it? Yes, that's going to be Easter. if I'm... Yeah, so if I'm not mistaken, I'm trying to learn about this stuff as we go along. The SSD that he just installed, the Samsung, is going to basically host all of the software, and that's going to be you know quick access. And then we've got some internal, much larger hard drives that are going to hold all the footage and any of the bulk, you know, all the media that we have to go through and sort through and that sort of stuff. So also external drives and external drives, which we have about. 500 of laying over here, and they're, they're all, all full. <laughs> so yeah, um, if you guys have a RAID set up that you suggest, you know, let me know and send me the link or something, then that'll be a good idea. Okay. Um, Where's the motherboard box? Uh, right here. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I didn't take it out, that's right. Oh, right, yeah, uh, that's funny. Yeah. Uh, I just need to know which one, which of these gym slots here? Actually, bring that motherboard back. I think that's that sad surface. Okay. But um, we're doing this live. Yeah. So I don't know which gym slots which uh, for dual channel RAM. So I'm just checking real quick because every motherboard is weird about that. I don't want to mess that up. Uh, yeah. What else can I open? Open that door. All right. Let's take a look at this. Some bitch. That thing should be pretty beefy. Is it even gonna fit? Oh yeah. If it fits in my skinny little case, it'll fit in this wide boy. Yeah, Swampy, I'm definitely playing uh, a set of Corsa on this new PC for sure. And I, someone said something about water cooling. I definitely am not interested in that. That sounds like an easy way to leak all over my system and That's what the AIO is. have problems. That's what but, the guy was offering. Oh, I don't know. If you want to send me your water cooler thing, I'll uh, look I'll at it. it and then, I'm not afraid of water cooler. Yeah. And then, of course, Rohan is not afraid because he didn't buy all this stuff. So. <laughs> I've also water I'm cooled multiple pieces. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure it's better than it sounds, but water cooling electronics sounds terrifying to me. Uh, this looks pretty dope. Holy crap. I'm liking this. It's by a brand name that I actually recognize, Cooler Master. And it's got a massive heat sink on it. That's cool. I don't know if we're going to be overclocking this or what, but... It's a little baby overclock. A little bit so far. Uh, Madman asks if I have a racing wheel. I do. Um, kind of. I have currently a Logitech, but I think Aaron from Lone Star Drift is going to give me his Thrustmaster TX. Uh, which is going to be a nice little upgrade. Uh, it's not the best. I've used the Fanatic kind, and those are really, really nice, really pretty amazing wheels and pedals and everything. But I'm not trying to spend $2,000 um, on not my car. So <laughs> I'm just going to take what is given to me, and, and there we go. Um, yeah, Caleb, I know you're talking about uh, water cooling and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm just scared of it, but I'm also not really well-versed in this world, so... You know, have patience with me. Um, yeah, Kiwi asked about Hyperdrive Season 2. We're definitely hopeful about Season 2. I don't have any confirmation yet. Nothing is concrete. We're just still working on, you know, putting that together. And, and Netflix has to decide to pay for it. It is a very expensive project, as you can probably imagine. And they spent a ton of money on making Season 1. So Season 2 is going to be determined by those guys. I don't have any say in the matter. Um, they've talked about a couple different concepts. They talked about doing some teams. They talked about doing um, where maybe I would come back as a, one of the hosts or maybe as like a coach. Um, something like that would be cool. I could potentially come back as another competitor. Um, they even talked about maybe having like the top three guys come back as kind of a boss where the other competitors have to beat us in order to advance on. Kind of like the old American Gladiators had, uh, you know, the on the Craig or Rock or whatever it was called, they had the, the 
winners from the previous season try and beat them off of that thing, which is pretty funny. So don't know yet. Um, hopefully, you know, I, I have a part in season two if there is one. I'm really looking forward to it. And I just don't know quite yet. There's nothing in, you know, complete contract yet. So stay tuned for that. Working on it. Nothing is 100%. I'm glad that people are excited that I remember to install the IO shield. <laughs> Did someone just say that? Yeah. But you thought I was just going to put this in and just forget about it like everybody else. <laughs> Did people do that? Yeah, because then you have to remove the motherboard again because you don't have this like, dumb little stuff. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. So. Alright, so motherboard's going in? No, not yet. No. Does this have to go on it before? Yes. Oh, shit. So, I mean, just to make things easier, sort of. Mm -hmm. I mean, we could install it in the case because it has a nice, this NDXT case is a nice big cutout. But uh, in that one, it was a major nightmare, so I'm like forever scarred by that. So I, I like to install this first. All right, so we've got the RAM on already. And if you want, you can put this into a little rising sticker on the front. On the front of the, the case? No, hell no. No advertising for free. Yeah. Sorry, Andy. You can pay for that. <laughs> I just put it online, put it over my little thumb at that sticker. Right. There you go. There you go. Can I open these? Yeah. Alright, what else? Before we do anything. Do you guys like the YouTube streaming service or do you think I could do better on Twitch or maybe do both? What, what would your thoughts be on that in terms of uh, you know streaming all the things I've got going on here? What, what what do you guys use most at home? Let me know in the chat. Okay. Um, Chris says the hyperdrive winner pissed me off. Yeah, he pissed me off too because he beat me. <laughs> but uh, no, Diego's a really cool guy. There was a little bit of language barrier, but um, he was nice enough. But he was definitely there, you know, for one purpose, and that was to win. And he was really hyper focused on that, pun intended. Uh, so yeah, I think um, you know, as you guys could tell, I was just having as much fun as possible, and I didn't really care about winning too much. Whereas he was quite the opposite. He didn't try and have any fun. It seemed uh, he just wanted to go for the quickest lap time. So you know, we both have our own styles of doing things. Uh, he definitely wasn't a uh, stuck up brat or anything like what you said in the comments there. But yeah. Um, we both were there for completely different purposes, and I think that definitely showed on TV. Um, yeah, so Caleb says full-time YouTubers that go on Twitch. Yeah, we're looking into that. I, uh, I don't know yet, and I'm going to leave that kind of part of things up to Rohan. He's the expert when it comes to the online I think once Twitch we start and... doing a set of stuff, we're probably going to move to Twitch. Until then, yeah. uh, we'll stick to here because there's not going to be too much live stuff. Right, we don't go live all that much. Yeah. Yeah. So, as long as you don't throw your cat, Twitch is good. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have a cat to throw, so uh, that won't be a problem. Also, I would never do that. Some people on Twitch would disagree with you. Yeah, I like, I like cats, but I like dogs better. But I like all animals the most, um, especially if they're nice. But yeah. Building a relatable sweater here. Today. Yeah, at least in my experience. Maybe you got a nice one at home. I don't know. Um, Caleb asked if a set of course is the best sim racer. It is not the best sim racer, um, but it is definitely the most fun and best in my experience with drifting. So for drifting, it's really good. Now, right out of the box, not so much, but you can easily get some mods and there's a huge community online that, that modify the cars and, and, you know, upload the iconic drifting tracks. And that makes a set of course, the best drifting game at least that I've used so far. Um, there are some that are more realistic. There are maybe some that have better cars or whatever, but the modded version of a Seto Corsa with the tracks that you can get, with the cars you can get, are by far the best and most realistic that I've used on anything like that. So, yeah. Um, so if anybody's wondering why I'm looking so confused, I'm just trying to find the difference between... Oh, am I? Yeah, just keep that one there. So if anybody's wondering what I'm trying to figure out right now, uh, there's two different setups for that come with schooler. One is Intel, one is AMD, and I don't want to mess it up. I'm trying to figure out which one's which. So I got the brackets right. That's nice. 
Yeah, so Swampy, I agree with you that VR drifting is the best. Um, I think, especially for me, because I really rely on my eyes and, and, and my head movement. And so moving my head to look ahead of, you know, or, or far ahead in, in the track is the best way for me to drive. That's how I instruct people. And it's a huge benefit for, you know, learning and practicing driving. So because like a single monitor is fixed, and even triple monitor, you know, is not quite as good in my opinion for like a, a VR headset where you can actually do the head tracking and move your head. That made it 10 times easier for me to drive a simulator. I, like I admitted earlier, I'm really not that good at sim driving. Uh, and there's a disconnect there for me. You know, I'm, I rely on the seat of my pants or my butt dyno to feel the car sliding and know kind of the maximum grip and, and, and the angle. Whereas in the sim driving, you know, you're relying on the feedback from the wheel. So, allow, you know, learning that translation is just like any language, you know, where you have to kind of immerse yourself in it and learn it. You know, learning what the wheel's feedback is doing in relation to what the car is actually doing. And then allowing my brain to kind of see me much better in the game. And then allow my hands and feet kind of to relax and, and allow them to kind of be more natural with the flow of things. Now... There are some drawbacks, of course. You can't see the wheel, you can't see the shifter, you can't see the handbrake. And although you shouldn't be like directly looking at the shifter or handbrake when you go to pull it, you know, your peripheral vision does a whole lot more than we give it credit for. And it allows, you know, our fine motor cortex to kind of know exactly where to reach to grab the handbrake or to grab the shifter. And same with the steering wheel, you know, we will kind of make a mental note of how many rotations the car or the wheel has rotated. So if you're in the practice of like throwing the wheel or letting it slip and kind of caster steer or, or self steer and then grabbing it, you know, it's surprising how much information we're taking on, even though we're looking out the windshield when we're doing that type of driving, you know, and allowing the car to kind of, or the wheel to slip through our hands and then grab it. So that's something to definitely get used to. And it's not easy for me to go over to a sim setup where the self steer or counter steer is not nearly as realistic in my experience, at least on the ones I've driven. Now, maybe you guys have the secret sauce at home and you know all the little settings, or maybe you've just gotten used to it and now you're driving it. But, you know, I've seen some wild things. I, I've seen some people play Forza with a steering wheel and it looked absolutely absurd. I'm gonna call out uh, a, a drifter buddy of mine, Andy Haitley here. He posted some videos of him driving Forza with a wheel and it looked ridiculous because he was doing corrections like this where the actual steering input was maybe doing, you know, very minor corrections. For whatever reason, the setting on, on the game, or maybe just Forza itself, it required big, huge, you know, steering corrections, and lots of them. He was going constantly back and forth, and it just looked hilarious and, and terrible, and that's not something I want to do. So, uh, you may have heard me speak in the past about, you know, using a simulator as a training tool. Well, it's important that the simulator is that. It's a simulator. It is simulating what you're trying to drive at home. So if it's not a realistic representation of a car, then you're actually probably learning bad habits or not really learning and developing that muscle memory that you really want to from taking a sim and then going and driving a real car. Now, if you don't care about that, if you're just driving a sim, drive it however you want. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. But if you're trying to use sim driving or, or you know online, um, competition or, or just driving with your buddies in a set of Corsa in order to develop your skills for the racetrack so that when you go and drive a real car you can take what you learned on the sim and apply it well then that's where it's really important that you have a proper sim that actually feels and reacts like a real car all right Rohan needs my hands here yeah. so basically what we're going to do is how I view the uh, just have the computer okay Okay. So, um, and you do either hold this or screw on this nut. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. So, yeah, this here. Yeah, so the holes should line up. Okay. We'll see which one is which. Yeah, 
were the only one who was a part of that, some kind of thing, besides installing it. But can you see that? Too? No, there's a little. Oh, I went through. You just didn't get the flat right. There's a little X in it. Yeah, yeah, we got this one. Um, here. Why don't you hold the motherboard? And right here, right? Can you hold it up? All right, so we're installing the cooler now. All right, guys, what other questions do you have? Sorry for that quick delay. Uh, we're probably gonna end this live stream here pretty soon. But any other questions you guys have, let me know and I'll be happy to answer them. Yeah, there's definitely VR for Assetto Corsa to answer your question, Caleb. Um, I'm surprised about the Lamborghini guy making it so far in the competition. Yeah, he was a really good driver and, and they definitely utilized that car to its best of its abilities. You know, they were able to engage the all-wheel drive in order to get really great launches and, and great handling and then turn it off when they needed to do drifting maneuvers. So. That was definitely a weapon and, and he was a good driver too. So you gotta give him credit for that. I'm sure that car was not easy to wheel around like that, but I still gave it to him in the head to head there at the end and uh, got myself back on the show. So nothing like an old 240 rear wheel drive with no computers in it, right? It's a lie. There's, one <laughs> There's one computer, but it doesn't do anything with uh, <laughs> anything that I'm doing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so teamwork makes the dream work. We got that sucker together, yep. Uh, have I tried any of the dirt games? Yeah, Deadwire, I definitely have. I love the dirt games, especially the newest one. Really, really fun. And rally is something I'm really passionate about and, and love to do, even though it's not quite as popular as drifting. It's really exciting and fun to drive. And um, I'm looking forward to doing more rally in 2020 with Rally Ready. Uh, if you guys haven't checked them out on YouTube or on Instagram, you can check it out, Rally Ready. And they also have just started a new one, Rally Rescue, where we're uh, offering a shelter for stray dogs and then we're finding permanent homes for them So it's really a pretty amazing cause and you guys should totally check it out and go give them a follow and, and a thumbs up um, This SR shirt um, Is one of a kind I'm gonna make something like this, but uh, to answer your question Stephen, it is not available I haven't made it more than one uh, But you guys can check out the other stuff I have on my website feelingshredder.com and I, I'd love to have your support on there. And you know, I've got three shirt designs, and I'm working on making a few more for 2020. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be really exciting. Uh, I worked out uh, a really cool piece of art with Coral Car Art. So thank you, Coral Car Art, on Instagram. He made me an incredible drawing that I can't wait to release. And we're going to put it on a T-shirt. It's going to be really, really cool. So looking forward to that. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, merch is all available on my website, um, feelingshredder.com. I'll put it here in the chat. All right, so yeah, Madman, I'm gonna plan on making uh, all kinds of different videos, including me driving a, a racing sim and other stuff like that. So yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm <laughs> so basically, uh, right now, uh, I got the little back plate of the cooler on. Uh, I'm about to wipe my fingerprint CDs off the CPU so that um, it doesn't mess with the cooling at all. Um, so we have the thermal to leave. Yeah, then we're going to put the thermal goop on there. It's a little bit of pea size. I know some people like to squirt the whole bottle on there and make a mess of things. Uh, I'm not going to that. <laughs> 
I like you to put a proper amount. You gotta put enough though, right? There's a specific amount you put in, and I'll do that that way. You wanna you wanna goop it? I do. I wanna goop it. Well, okay. You can you can goop it. I'll uh, I'll show everybody. Yeah, shipping to Australia is definitely going to wreck you, and it's been wrecking me this entire time. I didn't charge nearly enough, so, um, <laughs> yeah. The color code on my red or dead car is a secret. I'm not going to tell you, but it is it's red. An, a very bright, <laughs> vibrant red color that is um, an OEM color if you want to really dive into it. So you can find it. It is not a custom color code. All right, Rohan's going to show us how... It's not much hard. You just goop, goop it like to do. That should literally be. Fine. No, that's not enough. No, and you're not in the middle. middle. That's that's literally enough. <laughs> no way. Okay, fine. Just to appease you, I'll put in like that much more. But that's enough. All right. Because there's it's gonna be under a lot of pressure. Right. So there's. Do gonna, we want to smear it around? No, this will smear it for us. Because it's gonna pressurize it. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna. Yeah. I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this at all. This is not how we build race cars. Yeah. But this is not my domain either, so. So let's see how we want this. Oh, wait, wait. Let me touch that. Is it got sticky right there? Oh. It looks like it's got sticky residue. Ooh, that should be is it not? It's pretty clean. It's just the machining. Okay. Um, well, now you gotta wipe it off from my fingerprints. Yeah. But, um. Did you get these tight, all of them? Mm -hmm. On the back? Yeah. The nuts? Okay. I used a little screw. Right. Next bit. Um, if I'm going to think about if this is going like that. So, I'm trying to figure out how to orient it in the case. So, if this is the top of the motherboard, if I put it like this, it's going to end up looking like that. Which is kind of what I want. But then those fans are gonna be fighting. Well, I can each other. I can float this fan super easy. Like on the back side. Yeah, I can put it on the back wherever. So the fan placement isn't as important as like the vertical horizontal orientation of it. So I know for sure. Push. It's not gonna work. Like, I mean, wow, there's a lot of space on this motherboard. So I can just put it wherever I want. Well, I think hmm. if we put it where here, let me let me show how I want to possibly orient it. Like this, then you have maximum heat sink going up straight towards the fan above it. Yeah. Would you agree with that? Uh, how do I have mine? That's how I have mine. Okay. So. So from a race car building standpoint, I think that is the best way. However, this is not a race car, and I'm going to stay in my lane. The way I have mine right now in my current rig is like this, where the fan pushes, pulls up from here. It's the moment of truth, y'all. Alright, let's look for a fan header. Let's see if that works. Fan header. the goop just wipe where my fingers were if you can. Got a lot of cooks in the kitchen right now. Yeah. It's just sort of. If you just hold it in pos position. I can. I mean, if I can just balance it. Uh, you can get those. 
Well, we could have pulled this one. Can we pull this one? Oh, yeah. Snap it out. Are you in? So you're going to have to really bend down on this. Oh my god. I know, it's, it's really stressful, but you just got to do it. Jesus, that is stressful. Yeah. <laughs> but you gotta have that contact point. I get it, but man. I think that was the perfect amount of thermal paste, if I do say so myself. Oh yeah? It's just slightly squeaking out. All right, what are the questions you guys have? Kiwi, I will totally put a Baby Yoda sticker on my car. That would be awesome. And I've been absolutely loving The Mandalorian. It's an incredible show. If you guys don't or haven't watched it yet, 100% get Disney Plus and watch it because it's awesome. It is really, really good for sure. All right. Rohan has got this sucker on. All right. We're coming up on about an hour. Let me get a couple more questions in. And then we're going to finish buttoning this thing up. And we're honestly like almost there. Yeah, we're about there anyway, but this part doesn't matter as much. Um, just so we're all aware. Uh, how many of you guys are coming to hang out in February? I don't know if you're aware, but we're having a really big, fun demo event here in Austin. And we are drifting at Circuit of the Americas, which is a really awesome venue. It's a Formula One track. And the best part about it is we're giving ride-alongs. So we're going to have about 15 drift cars there, myself included. If you guys want to ride in the hyperdrive car with me driving behind the wheel in tandem drifting, this is your chance. So come on out. It's going to be on February 15th and 16th. So that's 2020, a couple of months away. Get plenty of time to ask off work and come travel and, and book a hotel or whatever if you're uh, out of town. But it's going to be a really, really fun event. It's going to be tons of driving and racing going on. It, we're partnered with a Global Time Attack series, so there's going to be bring your wife and kids, bring your spouse. It's totally uh, family-friendly oriented, you know, thing. So um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, definitely, definitely come on out. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. So definitely, yeah, I just said that. Come on out, and, and then I said it again. <laughs> All right, Roman's got this thing going in here. Yeah. So screws go on from this side? Yeah. So there's these little standoffs. Yeah. We're getting the motherboard in. All right, I'm going to take one more question and then I'm going to see you guys off. Let's see. The name of my drift car, Kiwi, is uh, an S14. It's a 240SX, kooky or koke, however, depends on what side of the pond you're from. And yeah, that's What's it. Your, your What's real name? What's, oh yeah, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> uh, the name of my car, I'll tell you in person, I'm just not going to say it publicly, but she's got a name. And uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it's more important to not say why, yeah. All right, guys. Hey, thanks for the cookie, Sarah. Okay, so we're going to sign off. Everyone say goodbye, meaning me and Rohan both saying goodbye. Later. Thank you all for joining in. Love you guys, and we'll see you on the next one. All right, how do I end this thing? Uh, I'll end it for you. Look at this boomer. Damn boomer trying to work the YouTubes. <laughs>